WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 27. And it's Monday Night Raw as the road to SummerSlam continues. Business continues to pick up here tonight as the man who will compete in the WWE Championship match when he cashes in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. The rated R Superstar Edge is in action in our main event. He is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Archer, Damian Priest. A first time ever collision. Will Mr. Money in the Bank continue to build momentum on the road to SummerSlam? And also signed for tonight. This thing has been months in the making. A one-on-one -on -one grudge match between the Prince, Finn Balor, and the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Numerous attacks. These guys have been at each other's throats. Push has came to shove, and they are finally going to settle it in the ring later tonight on Monday Night Raw. I cannot wait to see what happens. When Finn and Jeff Hardy get a hold of each other inside the squared circle. But we are kicking things off tonight with a match with a lot of weight hanging over it. The number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Drew McIntyre. He is on his way to SummerSlam to fight for the title against the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. But tonight, we'll determine if that match remains a one-on-one -on -one contest or if it becomes a triple threat affair. It was a couple of weeks ago on main event where McIntyre and his tag team partner and opponent tonight, Pete Dunne, picked up the victory over Jinder Mahal and Sheamus, which caused this whole situation to begin with. As we mentioned, coming up at our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, WWE SummerSlam, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus defends the Intercontinental Championship against the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre in their second meeting as of late. Remember back at Money in the Bank, where Sheamus defeated Drew McIntyre, what was a hell of a collision. Go back and check it out if you missed it. For the Intercontinental Championship, Sheamus retained on that night, but Drew McIntyre has earned himself another chance at glory. And the one-on-one -on -one match is signed for SummerSlam. But will that become a triple threat match as here comes the opponent for Drew McIntyre here this evening. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiser weighs Pete Dunne. As we mentioned, it was a couple of weeks ago on WWE Main Event. In a tag team contest, Drew McIntyre teamed up with the Bruiser right Pete Dunne as they took on Jinder Mahal and the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus. In that contest, Drew McIntyre pinning the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus' shoulders to the mat, earning himself the title matchup at SummerSlam. But you gotta look at Drew McIntyre's tag team partner on that night as well, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, who has been absolutely untouchable since coming up from NXT and joining the main roster, yet to be pinned, yet to be made to submit. So Pete Dunne, not the one who got the fall in that contest, but does still have an opportunity here to head on to SummerSlam and challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. And Drew McIntyre, although he knows and has a lot of respect for the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, you gotta believe he's wanting to keep this thing a one-on-one -on -one contest, an easier route than a triple threat affair at SummerSlam. But here we go, we are kicking things off here on Monday Night Raw in a hot way. Drew McIntyre, Pete Dunne, will it be one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam, or will it be a triple threat contest? It's going to be a great contest between two international talents here. Drew McIntyre has been an Intercontinental Champion in his career, the first championship he ever held in the WWE. Of course, McIntyre, as he showcases his strength over the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, has gone on to win numerous championships here in the WWE. He's a former Tag Team Champion, a former NXT Champion, a former two-time WWE Champion, as well as a Royal Rumble match winner. McIntyre knows what it's like to be on top of the mountain, but his story as of late, as we have touched on a lot every time we see Drew McIntyre in the ring recently, is that he hasn't been able to get the big one, hasn't been able to win the big one in quite a while. And we're all of Drew McIntyre's big-time affairs over the last couple of months. Remember back to that WWE Championship number one contenders tournament previous to Backlash. Drew McIntyre made it all the way to the finals, but was defeated by AJ Styles. 
And in the next week on Monday Night Raw, Drew McIntyre met a returning edge in a Money in the Bank qualifying match. Where McIntyre lost as well. And as we mentioned, McIntyre did face Sheamus at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view for the Intercontinental Championship. But although he put on a hell of a fight, Sheamus got the win on that night. So McIntyre is getting another big match ahead coming up at SummerSlam. But you got to think with his recent up and downs in his career, he does not want an extra obstacle in his way. And that extra obstacle could be that man, the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. He was able to take the big man off his feet. Obviously a size difference between these two. Drew McIntyre with the size and strength of Pete Dunne. But I got to give Pete Dunne the speed and possibly the technique advantage as well. Do not take the size of Pete Dunne lightly. We know he can get it done inside the ring. As we mentioned, he's been absolutely untouchable since joining the main Raw series. He's yet to be pinned. He has yet to be submitted here on Monday Night Raw. And Pete Dunne has held... Championship gold before. For over a year, he was the WWE NXT United Kingdom champion. As Pete Dunne is looking to add another championship to his resume. Coming up at SummerSlam. But he's got to get through the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre here tonight. McIntyre's been in control for the majority of this contest thus far. Every time it looks like Pete Dunne tries to get away, Drew McIntyre's right there to grab a hold. As we mentioned, Pete Dunne's definitely got the speed advantage over McIntyre. So McIntyre's definitely going to be looking to make sure Pete Dunne can't use his strength to Drew McIntyre's weakness. As McIntyre using his strength now, literally, and throwing Pete Dunne across the ring with that big-time belly-to-belly suplex. As we mentioned, a lot of respect between these two. And McIntyre going into the cover on Pete Dunne, looking to keep it a singles contest at SummerSlam, but Pete Dunne gets the shoulder up. As I was about to mention, a lot of respect between these two men that coexisted and got that tag team victory on main event a number of weeks ago. But it's not about respect here tonight. McIntyre got what he wanted. He got another shot at the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus at SummerSlam. But Pete Dunne has a case to make as well. And I think this is a very fair affair that we have going on right now. McIntyre deservingly getting that Intercontinental Championship match at SummerSlam after pinning the champion, Sheamus. But Pete Dunne was involved in that contest as well and was on the winning side of things. So I think a matchup here for Pete Dunne to possibly join that championship match at SummerSlam makes all the sense in the world. As Pete Dunne, you see, he's trying to battle back here, going back and forth with Drew McIntyre, taking the big man off his feet. And Pete Dunne's finally starting to mount some momentum as Drew McIntyre has been in control for the last number of minutes in this contest. And Pete Dunne with those nice scrapes to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre stays there and Pete Dunne, big time running boot. McIntyre is off his feet and ensures he's going to be dazed and confused. Pete Dunne went for the double stomp but McIntyre is right there to cut him off. Has got him up but he hits him with the snake guys there. Oh, I believe Pete Dunne may have been cut open on that turnbuckle. I got the turnbuckle pads, but you can still feel a sharp edge if you hit it in the right spot. It looks like Pete Dunne may have been busted wide open. McIntyre here going for the submission, but did not watch his ring awareness. Pete Dunne's foot was under the ropes. McIntyre going for the cover. He sees the blood trickling from the forehead, but Pete Dunne survives. We know how tough the bruiser weight is. A little color running from the forehead. Ain't gonna stop it. It looks like Pete Dunne was able to dodge what was looking like a Claymore kick there for Drew McIntyre. McIntyre trying to catch Dunne off, off guard, excuse me. But Pete Dunne's right there. And now McIntyre goes for a clothesline. Pete Dunne, this looks looking to use his speed to his advantage, and he does. That is the strengths of Pete Dunne that we're talking about. The toughness fighting through. The Crimson Mask right now, and then using his speed to his advantage. And Pete Dunne with a big-time Saito suplex to Drew McIntyre. The Bruiser Wright starting to mount some momentum here. And that was going to look to do what he does best. And that's beat down his opponent. Limb by limb here. And just, look at this, grabbing a hold of Drew McIntyre. Off the kicks. He's got McIntyre all tied up here. Pete Dunne dropping the double knees to the back. We talk about Drew McIntyre's strength, but you take out the lower back. That's definitely going to his that advantage. Pete Dunne into the cover, but McIntyre gets the shoulder up. What a great contest. We have us kicking off on Monday Night Raw. And so to come tonight, as we mentioned, two huge matches signed. It's going to be a monumental night here on Monday Night Raw when it comes to in-ring action. 
Damian Priest set to go one on one. It's Drew McIntyre. I gotta cut myself off here. Just took a spill to the outside. And Pete Dunne follows it up with a senton. Pete Dunne is rolling here. Throwing everything he's got at McIntyre. As I was about to mention in the main event tonight, Damian Priest set to go one on one with Mr. Money in the Bank, the man who will face AJ Styles for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam, the rated R Superstar Edge. And of course, also signed this evening, the grudge match weeks and weeks and weeks in the making. Prince Finn Balor is taking on Jeff Hardy. Those two finally going to get a hand of each other inside of the squared circle. This is going to be a monumental, historic night here on Monday Night Raw. We're kicking it off at a hot way so far as Pete Dunne and Drew McIntyre have been beating the hell out of each other since the opening bell. Pete Dunne back in the ring. McIntyre right there to meet him. Pete Dunne's kind of had his way with McIntyre the last number of minutes, but there's Drew McIntyre trying to fight back. He feels Pete Dunne mounting some momentum, and McIntyre cuts him off with a DDT. Not the future shock DDT. Didn't have enough time to lock the arms there. And Pete Dunne gets the shoulder up, and I gotta believe if McIntyre were to hit his, his signature future sock DDT there instead of a classic DDT, it may have been the maneuver that put Pete Dunne down and out. But there's Pete Dunne battling back with the Instaguri. McIntyre's looking a little dazed here. He's taking a lot of hard hits from Dunn the last number of minutes as Pete Dunn takes out the legs of the big man. Drew McIntyre does not want to lose this contest and make his obstacle towards the Intercontinental Championship even harder come the SummerSlam pay-per-view. But meanwhile, Pete Dunn's got him. Pump handle slam. McIntyre reached the canvas out of nowhere. And Pete Dunn has booked his ticket to the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Drew McIntyre, the ups and downs as of late continue as he is still heading to SummerSlam, but his course to the Intercontinental Championship just got derailed as we now have a triple threat match signed for the gold. Coming up at the next pay-per-view, Pete Dunne impresses here tonight and is able to topple the Scottish Psychopath on his road to the Intercontinental Championship. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. What a battle between these two men. Here is your winner, the Bruiser Wait, Pete Dunne. The Crimson Mask and everything that came with it wasn't enough to keep Pete Dunne down. And there you have it. The Triple Threat match is signed. Who is going to leave SummerSlam with the Intercontinental Championship? Well, the action rolls on tonight on Monday Night Raw. And before we get to some of our other signed contests, the Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator on the road to SummerSlam continues here tonight. Who is going to challenge Santos Escobar for the gold the next time we come your way on pay-per-view? The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Last week here on Raw, the Cruiserweight Eliminator kicked off two triple threat matches, where the winners of the triple threat matches will meet each other in singles action to then determine Santos Escobar's opponent for the Cruiserweight Championship at SummerSlam. Last week in the Cruiserweight Eliminator, we saw Isaiah Swerve Scott pick up the victory over Angel Garza as well as Kalisto. Tonight, it's the one and only Ricochet in triple threat action taking on the other half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo, and another Lucha House Party member in Alense Dorado, a man who's had some history with the one and only Ricochet. But as Ricochet is in the ring, we introduce your next competitor. As we mentioned, the other half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo. And his opponents, first, from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. Humberto, one of the most underrated and exciting talents in the Cruiserweight division. And you know everybody is looking to get their shot and meet the dominant champion on pay-per-view. Santos Escobar has been Cruiserweight champion the last number of months. Several championship defenses under his belt over Grand Metalik and Isaiah Swerve Scott. But who's going to be the man to beat him? 
It could be one of the triple threat winners here. As we were mentioning, Lindsay Dorado with some recent history with Ricochet. Those two men went one-on-one -on, -one on WWE main event. The main event after Money in the Bank. And what an exciting contest it was between the two cruiserweights. Ricochet picked up the win on that night. Lindsay Dorado was impressive in defeat and looked frustrated after the loss. Now those two men get another crack at each other. I'm sure Lindsay Dorado is looking to regain from that loss and also pick up the win. In this Cruiserweight Eliminator, on the road to SummerSlam, who's going to meet Isaiah Swerve Scott in the finals of this whole thing? We're going to find out right here, right now, as Monday Night Raw rolls on. Already an exciting night here tonight. Pete Dunne picking up the victory over Drew McIntyre to kick us off. Now that Intercontinental Championship match at SummerSlam becomes a three-way dance. And it's still to come tonight, the grudge match between Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor. Months in the making between those two men. It's Humberto Creo going for the cover here. Remember, this is one fall to a finish. So you got to have eyes in the back of your head in this triple threat contest. And then, of course, still coming up tonight, the man who pulled down the Money in the Bank briefcase. The Money in the Bank in Philadelphia a number of weeks ago. The rated R superstar Edge is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest for the first time ever in the main event. Looking to build momentum on the road to SummerSlam. Damian Priest looking to build some momentum for himself. Victory over the number one contender for the WWE Championship could mean an ultimate victory in contention for the WWE Championship. Could put Damian Priest in line for a title matchup after SummerSlam. A lot riding on this evening's Monday Night Raw as we roll towards the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Lindsay Dorado here is looking good in this Cruiserweight Eliminator so far. Ricochet taking him down with the neck breaker as we mentioned last week here on Monday Night Raw. In the first match of this Cruiserweight Eliminator, it was Isaiah Swerve Scott. Oh, man. Humberto Carrillo cutting Ricochet off there. That looked like a drop kick variation. But as I was mentioning, it was Isaiah Swerve Scott picking up the victory over Kalisto and Angel Garza in a hell of a three-way contest. So now we have this match up here tonight between Ricochet, Humberto, and Lince Dorado. And the winner of this match is going to meet Isaiah in the ring next week here on Monday Night Raw to determine who will face the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, for the Cruiserweight Championship at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Ricochet almost had Carrillo there a moment ago, but now Lince Dorado going at Ricochet. As we mentioned, he's looking to regain some momentum after his loss to Ricochet a number of weeks ago. It's Humberto there. He's got other plans. Nice backstabber maneuver. Humberto Carrillo so impressive inside the ring. Very underrated. This himself, as well as his tag team partner, Angel Garzon, lost Lotharios. Humberto gets sent over the top rope, and we are down to the two men who got a score to settle. Dorado and Ricochet inside the ring. And said Dorado grabbing a hold of the one and only, sends him over the top rope. Goes for a shot. Ricochet counters, and let's, let's say Dorado with a counter as well. A bit of a Pele kick. Sends Ricochet off the bottom rope. Now Humberto Carrillo is in. Gotta have eyes in the back of your head in this triple threat contest. As we mentioned, your opponents can be coming from anywhere you think. Very difficult to get a pinfall or submission in this contest as Ricochet this time takes care of Humberto. And we go back to Ricochet and Dorado. It's almost as if they're trying to eliminate Humberto from this matchup so they can get at each other. But Lince might have just eliminated Ricochet from this whole damn eliminator at that reverse run. And he almost had Ricochet there, but Humberto Carrillo breaking things up. And now a nice swinging neckbreaker on Dorado. And follows it up with that standing moonsault. Very impressive as Ricochet follows it up with a shooting star press. Lindsay Dorado taking some offense there from his two competitors. And Ricochet with a pump kick. Dorado's down and out. Ricochet to the moonsault once again. Goes for a second time, but Lindsay Dorado gets the knees up. Going to the well too many times off that finishing maneuver. As Lince and Ricochet continue to work over each other. Remember, as we mentioned, the goal here is to meet Santos Escobar at SummerSlam. And Santos has been nothing short of impressive, like his actions or not, since winning the Cruiserweight Championship. The man 
won the championship at a six-pack challenge. Elimination contest at Backlash against some of the best cruiserweights in the division. He then went on to defend the championship against Graham Metalik on Monday Night Raw and was victorious there. Of course, sending a message to the cruiserweight division after that matchup a couple of months ago when he beat down Graham Metalik. And we saw Santos Escobar again in action defending the title against Isaiah Swerve Scott at Money in the Bank where he was victorious. Santos Escobar, along with Legado del Fantasma, they've been on top of the world. And he's looking to continue that momentum regardless of the opponent coming up at SummerSlam. Ricochet with a nice shot as we get back to the action inside the squared circle at the current moment. As Lindsay Dorado with a nice standing Frankensteiner on Ricochet. And now just looking to beat down the one and only here. Lindsay Dorado certainly got a score to settle with the one and only. Ricochet rolls out. I believe Ricochet might have cracked the chrome doom off those fists from Lindsay Dorado there. But Alberto Carrillo off the backstabber. Could be looking to put Dorado away, but there's Dorado popping up in a Hurricane Rana. Fantastic cruiserweight action in this three-way dance so far. Ricochet is back in. Oh, yeah, we were correct. Ricochet's been cracked open. Back-to-back -back matches. We're seeing some crimson, ma crimson blood, excuse me. And coincidentally, it's all for championship opportunities coming up at our next pay-per-view. These men... On the roster, fighting tooth and nail for the championship opportunities. And Ricochet's eyeing up Lince Dorado here. Look at that, the recall knee. And that may be enough to punch Ricochet's ticket to the finals of this eliminator, but Lince Dorado gets the shoulder up. Ricochet had a chance there. Humberto was on the outside of the ring, but there's Dorado with a nice pop-up tornado DDT. Momentum was in the favor of the one and only, but it looks like Lince Dorado has stolen it back. Humberto, our third competitor back in the ring here. But he's got to watch his back as Lince Dorado pulls the legs out from under him. Lince Dorado, for the most part, I'd say, has been the controller of this contest. Very impressive. Representing Lucha House Party here. And a nice forearm of Humberto Carrillo. Let's say... Look at to bring some, some good vibes and some momentum back to the Lucha House Party locker room. The last few times we've saw those men, they've unfortunately been in losing defeats. Let's say going up top here. Look at this. Beautiful shooting star, Presto Murto Carrillo. And that could be all here. And Ricochet gets in at the very last second to break up the pinfall. And I gotta believe if Ricochet didn't get in, then that may have been the end of things. Lince Dorado almost punching his ticket to the finals of the Cruiserweight Eliminator. Ricochet's back in here. Lince's on the outside. We're down to Ricochet and Humberto inside the squared circle. Which one of these three men is going to meet? Isaiah Swerve Scott in the finals next week. Humberto. Look at that springboard mood salt. And it looks like Humberto's going to be going to the finals of the Eliminator. But I speak too soon as Ricochet gets the shoulder up. And now he's looking to follow it up fast. Submission hold. Ricochet is in deep waters here. And Lynn Santorado, luckily, is there to break it up. And there's a couple of times these last few minutes where all three of these men look like they're about to get the W. Lynn Santorado with the backbreaker. Humberto's down. Let's say he goes back into the cover on Ricochet. And Ricochet barely, just barely, gets the shoulder off the canvas. All three of these men laying it out in the ring tonight to meet Isaiah Swerve Scott next week. Lince tries rolling up Humberto, but Ricochet's right there to break up the count. Who's going to be the survivor of this three-way dance this evening? Ricochet comes behind Humberto and takes him out. Goes for the pump kick. Lince goes for the drop kick. Both men meet in air. Humberto's on the outside of Ricochet. Look at that. Very impressive. Takes out. Lince here. Look at that. Moonsoul German with the bridge into the pinfall. Lince barely gets the shoulder up. Ricochet looking good off those maneuvers. Lince's dazed and confused. Ricochet off the recall knee for the second time in this contest. And Ricochet not able to put Lince away though because Umberto's right there. 
It's the second time in this contest Ricochet has thrown his best shot. The first time may have been a little bit early. This time it's Humberto saving the bell. And we're back to a stalemate here. All three men inside of the contest. Ricochet shoots Humberto off. Him and Lince crash and burn. Got a collar and elbow here. Lince Dorado with the hurricane run off Humberto Carrillo. Ricochet trying to strike, but there's Humberto grabbing a hold. Sends Lince Dorado sending to the outside. And Ricochet with the drop kick there. Humberto hung up in the ropes. Lince's on the outside. Ricochet grabbing a hold. Got Humberto in fireman's carry position. Swings him out. Into the pinfall. Ricochet not able to win it just yet. Lince Dorado back in. Ricochet. Look at this. Tilt to whirl. Head scissors. Sends the man representing Lucha House Party right back where he was on the outside of the ring. Humberto's days. Ricochet. Recall me. For the third time in the contest, he hits his best shot. And the third time's a charm. The one and only Ricochet. A hellacious cruiserweight affair here on Monday Night Raw. And even though Dorado and Humberto Carrillo throw in their best offense in this contest, the one and only Ricochet punches his ticket to the finals of the Eliminator. Here is your winner, Ricochet! So it's the match. It's the rematch. Isaiah Swerve Scott versus the one and only Ricochet. Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator Finals coming up next week on Raw to see who goes to SummerSlam. Well, before we get to our grudge match between Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy, a couple more matches signed tonight on Raw as one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Eric, goes one-on-one -on -one with Drew Gulak. And for the women's division, Bayley is going one-on-one -on -one with Ember Moon. And the results of those contests see Eric picking up the victory over Drew Gulak in a one-on-one -on -one affair. And Ember Moon picks up some momentum in the women's division with a big win over Bayley. But it is time for your grudge match coming up in moments. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. We're cutting back to inside the arena. Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, things have already spilled out here to the arena. I thought we were about to have our our one on one matchup between these two men, but it looks like the brawl has ensued. Right at the top of the stage, Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor are going at it here. I don't know who instituted this brawl. I'm gonna assume Finn Balor. Everything these men have been through, especially the last number of weeks, Finn Balor laying out Jeff Hardy in the parking lot on the roll after Money in the Bank. Jeff Hardy seeking retribution, a chair shot to the head of Balor, costing him the victory against Dominic Dijakovic on main event a couple of weeks ago. We were set for our grudge match, but it looks like we're not going to get that, and we're just going to get a brawl. Unless we can get a referee out here and get these two men inside the square circle. These two are at the top of our interest, David. Jeff Hardy just eats the LED lights. Not what we wanted to see between these two men. Jeff Hardy seems in trouble here. Wait a minute, Finn Balor. Oh my God, Jeff Hardy just goes head first on the steel ramp. And it looks like this is not going to end how we wanted to see it inside the ring tonight. Well, I'm getting word Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy is not now going to take place tonight, but we're going to move over to Austin Theory, who took to Twitter earlier today to say this, I've been building a lot of momentum as of late, but in order to become the future, I have to first defeat the past. I want to be the face of WWE one day, and the only way to do that is to defeat the man who once stood in those shoes. Austin Theory then went on to say, SummerSlam is approaching, and I want my name on the marquee, which is why I am laying out the challenge at... John Cena, I hope you're listening. It's time to step out of the bright lights of Hollywood so I can have you looking up at the lights of SummerSlam. Hope to see you soon. Austin Theory has called out the franchise player, John Cena, to a one-on-one -on -one matchup coming up at SummerSlam. I have no idea if John Cena will accept, if we will get a response. It's been an insane night here on Raw. And just like that, it's time for our main event. Damian Priest set for action. The following contest is 
scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, New York. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Before we get set to our main event, a lot to take in these last number of minutes. We are supposed to be seeing Jeff Hardy versus Finn Balor right now inside the ring, but it looks like the brawl instituted in the backstage and spilled out to the stage here. And Finn Balor laying out Jeff Hardy head first at the top of our entrance ramp. And Jeff Hardy not looking like he's going to be able to compete here tonight. So unfortunately, that grudge matches off the card. I hope we see it at a later date. An, un an unfortunate situation. So much turmoil between those two men over the last number of months. Hopefully we can get the final nail in the coffin of that feud. Nonetheless, we're going to move on. And it is time for your main event. Damian Priest is set for action here. And he's going one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Money in the Bank. The Rated R. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds. The Rated R Superstar. I didn't even have to finish the announcement, so took care of it for me. Edge is here on Monday Night Raw. And he is set to compete for the first time since pulling down that briefcase that he holds in his hand, as you guys can see. He pulled it down at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in Philadelphia. He then took a spear right to Edge, or right to AJ Styles, excuse me, a number of weeks ago on Raw, and announced he would be cashing in his briefcase. For a WrestleMania rematch at SummerSlam, this time with the WWE Championship on the line. AJ Styles defeated Edge at WrestleMania. Edge is looking for redemption. And he's not just looking for redemption, but he's looking to win the WWE Championship once again in his illustrious career. I can't wait to see those two men lock horns at the SummerSlam pay-per-view in the main event with the gold on the line. But first things first, Edge has got to focus on the archer, Damian Priest, right here, right now, on Monday Night Raw. And as we mentioned a few weeks back here on Monday Night Raw, Edge making a statement and making his presence felt. AJ Styles was having a match with John Morrison inside of the ring when Edge showed his face, hit AJ with the spear. It was then announced later in the week that Edge would be cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Not in surprise, but instead letting it be known in advance. And he wants AJ Styles at 100%, one-on-one, -on -one, at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. He wants to redeem the loss to the Phenomenal One from WrestleMania earlier this year. And it was really that win for AJ Styles that sent him on a momentum course. Onto winning the WWE Championship. He's been near perfect over the last number of months. But Edge is looking to be the thorn in the side of AJ Styles. And looking to come back, cash in the briefcase, and win the WWE Championship once again. As Damian Priest is taking the fight to the Rated R Superstar here. Of course, we did just see AJ Styles in action this past week on Main Event. It was a big six-man tag team affair. AJ Styles teaming up with Mansoor and Mustafa Ali to take on all day Austin Theory, Buddy Murphy, and Seth Rollins. A lot of issues between Seth Rollins and Mustafa Ali as of late. I'm sure we're going to see more out of those two very soon, but AJ Styles pick up the win for his team on that night. AJ Styles continues to be nothing short of impressive, so Edge has got a, a big, big mountain to climb coming up at SummerSlam. As Edge taking down Damian Priest that elevated DDT. Edge going into the cover here on the Archer. Remember, Damian Priest was involved in that Money in the Bank ladder match as well. Back at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So I'm sure he's looking to get a hit of retribution over Edge as Edge was the one, as we mentioned, and as you saw, that pulled down the briefcase on that night. Now look at this. Edge all over Damian Priest right now. Sends him down to the canvas and Priest gets the shoulder up again. And we're talking about the momentum that AJ Styles has had. Ever since defeating Edge at SummerSlam, going, or excuse me, at WrestleMania, and going on to win the WWE Championship. But Edge has been nothing short of perfect since he has returned. We talked about it earlier, but he defeated Drew McIntyre in his Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. There's a big six-man tag team match featuring the competitors of the Money in the Bank contest. 
And the Raw before Money in the Bank, where Edge was victorious in that contest as well. And then, of course, pulling down the briefcase at the pay-per-view. And now his next matchup is right here, right now, against Damian Priest. So it's really going to be interesting to see if Edge can keep his momentum going with AJ Styles in his future. And if anybody's going to be able to take down AJ Styles and derail him off course, take away the most prestigious prize in our business today, the WWE Championship, you got to think the rated R superstar, the ultimate opportunist, Edge is going to be the man to do so. And I got to say, I am still very impressed, or I should say very surprised, that Edge is going to be cashing in his money in the bank in advance. Instead of doing what he's done twice in the past, really doing what gave him the name, the ultimate opportunist. Remember, Edge was the winner of the money in the bank, the inaugural edition, cashed in on a wounded John Cena. For the WWE Championship, two, not even two years later, cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase again on a wounded Undertaker. So Edge, for the third time in his career, holds the briefcase for the third time he's looking to cash it in. But this time, a wiser Edge, if you will, or somebody who's just looking to prove a point. He's upset about that loss to AJ Styles at WrestleMania. And it's not just about getting the WWE Championship, but about regaining that. Defeating AJ Styles, proving he can hang with some of the newer talent inside the WWE. That's what's riding on the line coming up with the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Of course, signed for the pay-per-view as well, the Intercontinental Championship. We talked about it earlier tonight. Shame is set to defend against Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne in the Triple Threat Contest. We know Santos Escobar will defend the Cruiserweight Championship against either Isaiah Swerve Scott or Ricochet. We're going to find who that is going to be next week with Damian Priest. Look at that. Coming from the top rope to the outside of the ring, dropping the elbow on the rated R superstar edge here. Damian Priest throwing caution in the wind. Priest knows what's on the line for him. If he can defeat the number one contender, no matter who walks out of SummerSlam with the WWE Championship, you gotta believe that puts Damian Priest in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity. A man who's got all the tools inside the squared circle. Let's we'll see if Priest can continue his dominance in this contest and possibly eluding him to a victory here. Look at that, just sends Edge on a ride, crashing him down on the floor. I'm talking about SummerSlam, as we are running down the card, of course we found out before Damian Priest made his entrance, Austin Theory taken to Twitter earlier today to call out John Cena, the self-proclaimed future of the WWE, once his crack at the OG franchise of, of the WWE, John Cena. We haven't seen in a long time here at the WWE, but it's going to be very, very interesting to see if Cena accepts that challenge for Austin Theory at SummerSlam. SummerSlam, only a few matches signed, but it's already looking to be an incredible night. The next time we come your way for Universe Mode Pay-Per-View, which will be a live premiere right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Look at that, Priest sits out with that suplex there. And Edge might be in trouble. Priest go for the cover, but unintentionally gets the rope break. Priest grabbing a hold. Edge with the elbow. Edge takes him down there. Nice clothesline. Edge building some momentum, but Priest cuts him off at the Luthes Press. Damian Priest looking impressive in this contest against Mr. Money in the Bank. Priest grabbing a hold of Edge. Edge takes out the legs from under him. Oh, it looks like Edge, we didn't even mention it here, it looks like Edge has been busted open. Man, if this night has been about anything, it's been about blood, sweat, and tears inside of that ring. Everybody who's entering the square circle, leaving it all on the line. As we are on the road to SummerSlam, and it's all about championship opportunities. It's all about building momentum. As we are approaching one of the biggest pay-per-views on the calendar. I think these men and women are showcasing that tonight. Inside the ring is Edge. Look at that nice drop kick. Certainly, Edge not looking to be derailed. As we mentioned, his recent success. He's been 3-0 since he made his return for the first time since WrestleMania. Does not want to lose here to Damian Priest and possibly bring some bad mojo on the road to SummerSlam. Edge, look at that. Hitting the spear from the second rope. 
Bit of a modified spear there. That's something that was starting to, similar to Edge's finishing maneuver to the spear, obviously, but a little bit of a different angle, and that's certainly the way Edge is used to hitting it. Certainly going to be effective, however. Didn't put Damian Priest away there. He's got him hanging up in the tree of woe, and Damian Priest eats the snake eyes. I believe Priest has been busted open as well here. The Crimson Mask is being rocked left and right tonight. And Priest with a shoulder tackle like Spear on edge that time as well. These guys are really starting to pick things up here, brawling back and forth. Is Priest at edge in this contest? Just throwing haymakers with each other. Priest grabbing a hold. Gonna set Edge for a ride here and down to the canvas below. And Edge may be dazed. Damian Priest. Look at that. Goes for the springboard, but miscalculates it. And that's gonna go in the favor of Edge as he now gets a second chance to regain some energy here. Grabs a shot. There's a clothesline. Grabs a hold. Damian Priest eats the canvas. Mr. Money in the Bank gaining momentum. Edge with a nice chop. Big time drop kick from the Rated R Superstar. You now Edge is a, a tall man. A lot of strength, but Damian Priest is bigger, so Edge is chopping down the bigger man with moves like that. And now going to use the Chrome Dome to his advantage off the headbutts. It's blood eating blood there. This thing is downright brutal in our main event contest. Edge looking to shoot Damian Priest off, and Priest counters, pulls himself back, goes for the shot, Edge counters. These guys are throwing haymakers yet again, Edge pulls him back in, nice backbreaker to Damian Priest. And Priest is dazed, Edge goes for the kick, now Priest counters, once again we're going back and forth, Priest, look at this, choke slam, sits out with it, Edge eats the canvas. Priest into the cover, gonna pick up the victory. Over the number one contender for the WWE Championship, but Edge gets the shoulder up just in the last second. Damian Priest almost picked up the win over Mr. Money in the Bank there, but it's not enough. Once again, grabs a hold. Edge off the reversal. Now Priest off the reversal. Big time forearm. Edge's day is on the ropes. Edge fighting back. Shoots Priest off. Nice shoulder block there. Edge with the super kick. We've seen him use it a couple of times in this contest. And it's absolutely been effective every single time. Edge nails it. Grabs a hold. Damian Priest eats the knee. And now Edge is going into the corner. Rated R Superstar stalking his man here. Edge with the spear on Damian Priest. And that may just be the final nail in the coffin. And it is. And the Rated R Superstar, Mr. Money in the Bank, Edge. Picking up a big time victory here tonight over Damian Priest. Priest putting up a great fight. You got to give him credit. This is a tough matchup for both men. But in the end, the man who will meet AJ Styles for the WWE Championship on pay-per-view continues to build momentum. It's his fourth victory since returning to the WWE. And Edge is looking good. Off that spear. What a main event. Edge celebrate. Wait, 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 wait a minute here. Edge is celebrating his victory, but the WWE Champion AJ Styles has hit the ring. At one time, there was respect between these two men, but I think after Edge hit that spear a few weeks ago, all bets are off, and the WWE Champion wants to settle the score. Edge is dazed with blood trickling from the top of his head after this contest, but the WWE Champion has decided to strike. AJ lay it out, the Rated R Superstar. Like these men are not, like the actions are not. You can't say Edge didn't have this coming. AJ Styles with a small measure of redemption here tonight. But what is gonna happen when it matters when the lights are on bright on pay-per-view at SummerSlam? Thank you for joining us here tonight and we'll see you on WWE Main Events.